Hello, on this misty autumn day with temperatures around about 3 degrees Celsius. A very calm day. In the background you see the river Neckar, which flows through my hometown Eberbach. And uh, obviously it is very calm as well. So a good reason to inform you about some equipment I've got and today it is about a kitchen setup I created under the circumstances that my boat is really very small and that I decided to use the HPV salsa cooker which is a fuel cooker of a very special kind the kitchen setup is really a rough copy of what Roger Barnes produced for his Illure, with which he presently sails on the west coast of France near Lorient and Quimper. I'll show you the setup in a minute. So in the meantime, I have unraveled my little dinghy knut, which is a Rotenboven bowl lobster, 12.5 foot, which means it's about a boat with length of 4 meter 25 and a water line of about 4 meters. It's just 1 meter 69 wide, so it's very narrow, a little less spacey than, for example, the allure of Roger Barnes, but it has the advantage that it is very easy going in light winds, and this is important here in this mountainous area where I live at present. And to be honest, I also like it because most of the sailors I see in harbors and at sea use their motors already whilst I'm still sailing with nearly the same speed uh, in low winds. So let's go to the boat and have a view of the boat, which is just in transport mode, so the mast and the boom are laid whilst the equipment is secured in order to have it on place after arrival. Let's have a look. I have a motor of 3.5 horsepower, but I don't like it as it is too loud. I usually row it for the rowing. I've got two possibilities. I can use it as a normal rowboat or I can rig it with a installation I just finished this spring. The interior is narrow but spacious enough. And uh, here you already see my two boxes. The left one is my kitchen, whilst the right one is my documentation and map box. My usual configuration contains a waterproof bag, a emergency bag and a grab bag which is currently at home as it must be filled with my documents and whatever else when going. In the rear you see my electrical installations. I've got a bilge pump that works automatically as well as manually. My battery is a 12 volt 100 ampere hour battery that is sufficient. The boat has um, full navigation lighting. And if you wonder about the name of the boat, it is Knut. Let's have a look at the kitchen box, which is strapped to the floor panels and easy to be opened. It just fits into the space. It is a box I could buy ready, except for the lid and some changes I had to make to have it as a kitchen. The box is closed with a strap. I had to do this because the space is really tight, so I put over you the strap. 
the lid is already made waterproof with a window seal I mounted here. The lining is a fire and heat proof lining I use because I don't want to have fire on board. In the box I have another plastic box with dry food, an old bag for the cutlery my parents already used but not for sailing. And naturally, most important breakfast is porridge. For very quick requirements of a coffee, I take along some ready mixed instant coffees with milk and coffee. Naturally, rinsing fluid for making the dishes. I've got a spicy and a salt and pepper as well. And for some nice evenings, I use this eucalyptus turn. The Ducal Lantern is a very bright one and it's got a huge advantage. It can be operated with a candle that is put inside here or a fuel lamp, which I usually do not use as I do not have the petroleum with me so often. This candle, for example, has citronella in it so I have a little chance to get rid of some of the midges and mosquitoes the white spirit required for the cooker is in here and these are my pots and pans I take along with the kettle foldable dishes which I like very much is they are very flexible and easy to clean a pan an old trungia pen as well as the pots are made from trungia as well and a lid that can also be used to get rid of water whatever else if I need it furthermore in the basket I have changed some paper clips for binding paper in offices I shortened them and made them in a way that allows me to slide them onto little baskets like this one and prove it. In the rear of the cooker, the box is made of the already available box. I entered a spacer which secures the cooker from moving around. In the rear I've got a foldable cup which is nice to have. I usually also have some thermal mugs or cups with me in the rear of the boat but this I'm sure I always have it with me regardless of my concentration when preparing to go off 
eight bucks or eight. This is a little coffee. And this is the HPV Zalsa cooker. The HPV Zalsa cooker is a very interesting instrument made to burn normal white spirit. I put this off to show you some details. The tank contains roughly a third liter. I don't fill it too much because through this ventilation sometimes I have spillages of spirit which I do not like so much. The, the spirit is run through this pipe and is heated by the heat of the burner in a way that it comes out of this pipe as gas to feed the burner. The heating of the burner is very easy. I let some drops of the fuel run into this pan, ignite it, and after a while it will be hot enough to have the gas coming out here so that I have a good working cooker. Let's show it with the example of making some hot water for my coffee. First of all, I open the fuel and some of the fuel drops into the pan. The pan should be nearly half filled. It can be less on warm days. On a cold day like this, today with 3 degrees Celsius, it should be a little bit more because the spirit itself is quite cold as well. I don't think... Can you see it? At least it's running into this pan. Now I close it. Put it back again because if I had a fire I want to have it in a safe area and not ignition. Meanwhile, I can prepare the kettle. I pre prefer these flasks here, which are equipped with a carbon filter to filter out chlorification or other tastes of the water. I always have it with me in my boat as well in my camper. It's sufficient to press the water out and it will be filtered and tasting very clean and good. Shortly before the fuel is dried, I try to ignite it, let's see if it already works, yes it works. Now the, the flames are very similar to the Changlia flames, but it works a little differently. Put on the grid again. which I normally do not remove and put the cooker on. As it shall be only a quick coffee today, I use one of these prepared ones.
besides, you may see I have a nice installation I made myself for my meteorological instruments. I built it out of plywood and it includes a hygrometer, a thermometer, a barometer and a clock which works in UTC. You see in Germany we are closed before noontime. In a second or five you'll hear the church bells ringing. In the meantime I'll return to my pipe. By the way, I use British tobaccos on board of my boat. Some Navy tobaccos, like for example from Robert McConnell, the Maduro tobacco, or by Samuel Galway's the Skiff mix. I like them very much. They are tasty, they are good, and um, they are not too strong, so that I have to go to my pot too early when sailing. By the way, this is a Zippo pipe lighter made to light pipes even in strong winds. I prefer it very much when sailing and sailing without a pipe doesn't exist for me. You see already the steam coming out, so we reached at least some degrees above outside temperature. So it took me about three to five minutes to have my water boiling. It's quite fast, even in those low temperatures. And I can turn the cooker off and prepare my coffee. Now it's coffee time. I hope the information were valid for you and you liked the video, which is my first of my boat knut I ever made. And if you have got any ideas how to improve not only the video quality, which is naturally a quality made by learning effects, but also some ideas about changing something on the boat, I'm always interested in your opinions. Thank you very much and have a nice winter time.